In this video, I'm gonna show you five three punch combinations that every boxer or fighter need to practice daily. The first one's gonna be the jab cross hook, which is the seven, two, one, if you do the peekaboo boxing style. So get in front of the heavy bag, turn a timer on, set a round on, or you can do repetitions, just work on the jab cross hook. When you're in front of the heavy bag, I'm gonna drive in, one, two, three, if you're a normal boxing style. If you do the peekaboo with the peekaboo punch numbers, it'll be the seven, two, one, okay? When you throw the jab, you wanna get your head offline a little bit. Head offline, that loads that right hand to the head, okay? Remember, I'm pivoting on the foot, and then I can come with that hook to the head. Whether you punch with your thumb up or your hand down, doesn't really matter, it's a personal preference for you. But after your last punch, I'm gonna do a double weave. Every time I throw a hook, I like to bob and weave. So in front of the bag, I'm gonna go jab, cross, hook, double weave, okay? And then remember, I can use, I can punch the heavy bag for speed or for power. Watch the difference. So if I go for speed using the jab, cross, hook, all right, I'm gonna put less body mechanics into it and I'm gonna use more arm punching to make my punches faster. But if I wanna add my pow some power to it, it's not gonna be as fast, but I'm gonna get more body weight, more body mechanics into my punch. So if I go power, and I still move my head or speed. Okay, you need to train both to be effective in boxing. Sometimes you need to throw your, your punches fast, sometimes you need to put some bad intentions behind it. That's combination number one, which is the jab cross hook. The second go-to combination that everyone needs to be practicing daily is the cross hook cross. Every time you're getting a habit of throwing that right hand, you're coming back with the hook. Every time you throw the hook, you're coming back with that right hand. So in peekaboo box number, it's gonna be a two, one, two. Okay, so in front of the back, same thing. I can do speed or I can add some power on it. So I'll do it for speed. Move my head after my last punch. I can do a double weave or I can do the more of the pendulum with the side to side slipping motion, okay? So, more hand speed. Less body mechanics, but faster hands. Remember, when you wanna punch fast, you gotta sacrifice something. When you wanna punch hard, you gotta sacrifice something, okay? So keep that in mind. Not all your punches need to be full power. Sometimes you throw slow punches, fast punches, and hard punches, okay? Now if I do it with power, you can see there's a delay between each punch because I'm rotating my body more into each punch. So again, speed, move my head, and then power. Okay, some people just have naturally heavy hands. I do not. So I have to put every inch, every ounce of my body weight into my punches to make my punches more powerful. That is the second combination. The third combination is gonna be the reciprocal of that one. Instead of throwing the cross, hook, cross, okay, I'm gonna throw the hook, cross, hook. Because remember the rule, you throw a hook, throw the right hand. You throw the right hand, throw the hook, okay? Always start and end with the jab. That's some of some basic guidelines for boxing. So, peekaboo box numbers, one, two, one, or punch numbers. So remember, I can go fast, move my head, or I can go heavy. Okay, you gotta practice both. That is the third combination. The fourth combination is gonna be the uppercut, hook, cross. Okay, every time you get on the inside of your opponent, you need to fire in that four, one, two. Right at them, right on the inside. Usually the four will lift them up, they start to go back on the one, and then as they go back, you catch them with that straight right hand. So throw it fast. Remember when you throw the uppercut, you wanna get your head off line. I wanna bob my head to the right hand side before I throw the uppercut. So the four, one, two, I'm gonna power, making sure I'm moving my head after my last punch, okay? I mean, that was speed, now I'm gonna go for power. Okay, remember, the uppercut's thrown on a flat, a heavy bag, it's, it's, it's kinda awkward, but you can still up at an angle and throw your punch, so that's the fourth combination. The fifth combination, go-to combination, is going to be the six, one, two. Okay, one of my favorite combinations. 
Okay, so if I do it fast, move my head after my last punch. Now if I make him heavy and go more power. So the difference between speed and power for me is body mechanics. How much more I put into that punch. Usually it causes a time delay between each individual punches, okay? If I arm punch more, there's less time wasted in between punches, but I'm not hitting my opponent hard, okay? Where the power punches, okay, there's a little more delay in between each punch because I'm putting more body mechanics, more body weight into my punch. That is it. If you guys learned something from this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel.